Third powerful liberal gets terrible news. His career is over. Harvey Weinstein's fall from grace has almost been ironically cinematic. The film mogul has gone from being one of the most thanked men in Hollywood to a sexual predator and pariah. This week, the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences Board of Governors decided to kick Weinstein out of their organization after several women have come forward to accuse the producer of sexual harassment and rape, according to the Daily Caller. The Academy released a public statement regarding the matter on Twitter and on other media platforms. The statement reads, The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Science Board of Governors has voted well in excess of the required two-thirds majority to immediately expel him from the Academy. We do, not, uh, we do so not simply to separate ourselves from someone who does not merit the respect of his colleagues, but also to send a message that the era of willful ignorance and shameful complicity in sexual predatory behavior and workplace harassment in our industry is over, the statement continued. Yeah, right. As of this writing, Weinstein has yet to be charged with any crime and is currently seeking mental health treatment. The accusation against Weinstein almost defy the imagination. Since at least uh, 1990, Weinstein has been sexually assaulting young actresses. In one instance, a young Ashley, Ashley Judd was offered the chance to massage a naked Weinstein, followed by an offer to watch Weinstein shower. What a beautiful uh, offer. Rose McGowan, who claims that she was uh, blackballed in Hollywood for speaking out against Weinstein and other big-name sexual predators, was paid $100,000 in uh, settlement with uh, in Weinstein in 1997. The settlement did not admit guilt, but McGowan was compensated for being harassed by Weinstein in a hotel room. In 1998, a Miramax uh, employee named Zelda Perkins reportedly uh, confronted Weinstein about his history of sexually suggestive hotel room requests and conversations. This means that many in Hollywood knew about Weinstein's behavior as far back as 1998, and Hillary claimed she never knew about it. Italian actress Asia Argento is one of the five women who have accused Weinstein of rape. In Argento's case, Weinstein reportedly performed unwanted oral sex on Argento while she gave him a massage. Not all of Weinstein's victims have been connected to the movie industry. Their Italian Filipino model, um, Ambra Batilana, Gutierrez claims that Weinstein groped her during a meeting in 2015 at Weinstein's office in New York City. A recording of Weinstein discussing the matter has been released on the internet. Gutierrez did not press any charges against Weinstein at the time, but did reportedly accept a settlement from his company. Given this uh, widespread evidence, many law enforcement organizations are looking into the possibility of investigating Weinstein for criminal harassment or sexual assault. The NYPD this week reopened its investigation of Weinstein. Many conservatives have been quick to point out that Hillary Clinton, who received thousands if not millions of dollars in campaign donations from Weinstein over the years, was slow in condemning her friend. When she did, many commented on the hypocrisy of Clinton's, quote, disgust with a man accused of crimes that are very similar to the ones lobbied against her own husband. If nothing else, the unfolding Weinstein story exposes the sick nature of Hollywood and its deep connections to American politics. So true, the deep connections of Hollywood and the music industry also uh, everything uh, has to do uh, that has connections to Hollywood to steer the 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 cattle. That's basically it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.